in the year 2008, after post-election violence in Kenya, there are families which were totally affected, and some children lost both their parents. There is one case where an individual in Nairobi, Madare, found out that there are places where people were doing live sex. Then they saw this young lady doing live sex and being paid very little money. He asked her, why are you doing live sex? Are you not endangering your life? You might die because of sexual transmitted diseases. This lady answered him and told him, I am aware of this, but my parents died during post-election violence. I have my younger siblings to take care. So should I stop doing it and die today because of hunger, me and my siblings, or should I continue and die later, maybe after five, 10 years because of diseases? This person never answered her. My point is this, not all ladies outside there who seem to be prostitutes or who seem to be looking for sex, they really like it. Some prostitutes had childhood traumas. Some of them, these young ladies, young girls, they just want food. They just want school fees. They just want accommodation. When you go to coastal, along the beaches, coastal coastline, there are some young ladies who are sent by their parents just look for money. So they're not out there just because they're prostitutes or they are prostitutes. They're just looking for money. So if you are in a position to help, just help without asking for sex. And God will bless you abundantly.